Hey everyone, Evil Steve here, and welcome to day one of our Fabled Script Contest Winners Week. We asked people to submit a script using a single fable to highlight for the contest, and we received a lot of interesting submissions, like a lot of them. Uh, and one of the most fun aspects to me is that amongst our final three winners, none of them actually used the same fable. So first up, let's take a look at Never the End submitted by Siv. And in this script, we get to see the use of the Ferryman Fabled, which is uh, a character that allows everyone to get their ghost votes back during the last day of the game. Now it's also paired with the solo Vigor Mortis as the demon, so even evil gets to double dip on the ghost votes. Take a look and let us know what you think of the Ferryman in the comments below. Enjoy! All right, everyone, we are going to get going with uh, one of our runner up scripts. Uh, this script is called Never the End by Siv. Um, unfortunately, Siv was not able to stay up at this time because it's an ungodly hour for them and uh, and and play with us but they are the winner of the runner up spot. So congratulations, Siv, for never the end. Uh, this script is a featuring the fabled, the ferryman, which if you haven't seen before, the ferryman is a fable that reads on the final day, all dead players regain their vote token. So this is a nice fun script where even evil can benefit from this uh, ferryman. They can, because the, the demon, as you can see, is a solo vigor script. So every death is suspicious at night, and the evil can benefit from having their ability and getting an extra ghost vote. So it's kind of interesting to see how that comes in. Um, we are playing with nine players for this game. It'll probably go a little faster because we're hoping to get through three scripts tonight. So we have one more after this. But yeah, this is a fun fable in comparison to some of the other fable that you may have seen or not already, depending on the order these videos come out. So congratulations. I do want to specify too, as the runner up, we had we had a winning script and we had two runner ups. We don't actually have an order to the runner ups because against all odds, the runner ups tied exactly on points. So instead of having to decide one second place, one's third place, they're both just equally runner up. So yeah, so this is a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go set up a game. Uh, you guys hang out here for a minute, and we'll get going. All right, chat. Congratulations, Siv. Uh, yeah, this features the ferryman, which uh, one of the things with Ghost Vote is people generally save it for the last day, and then you feel pressured to vote along with town. Ferryman gives you some leniency in, in feeling like you can actually use your Ghost Vote to make an impact. Evil players in the game can have a little more power. Uh, not as strong as like having like a matron or something, but or uh, is it matron? Uh, a Voodon, but still pretty good. Yes, they tie it exactly in points, Tiffy. That is correct. Exactly tied in points. Um, so we can do some redemptions, although you can't redeem a demon. You know why? Because <laughs> there's only one demon on this script. So unfortunately, uh, demons are out. But if you have any other roles you'd like to include, now is the time. To do it no it's the same camera i always have tiffy i think the difference being i'm using it in app and i'm not using the uh the filtering thing behind me uh no this is this is the same camera i always use so if you have any redemptions let me know i'm gonna go ahead it's a one minion game vigor mortis and one minion so which minion gets the most bang for their buck i mean leaning into which is a lot of fun because the witch gets to kill, and even if they get vigor killed, they're still doing a lot of damage. Uh, Spy is also another fun one. Just seeing the Grim makes you know vigor mortis kills. You're killing powerful minions or powerful rolls, and then evil the people are being suspicious about them. Uh, the script. So Bryant is the first redemption. Bryant is going to redeem a Baron. All right. Baron, oh, you lost all your points, Tiffy. Sorry. I think if you, I think if you bet, or I think if you don't, um, what do you call it? If you use bits, you can earn extra, extra channel points. I think is how it works. Um, but yeah, so Baron. All right, cool. We have a base two outsiders, and we go up to base four outsiders. Um, 
I guess that's what it is. Just a lot of outsiders. Um, going to go ahead and look at this real quick. I want to look at, at what Sith said for the write-up. Uh, see if there's any interesting interactions he wants us to highlight. Okay, so Sith says... Um, includes a ferryman, careful to avoid most ways that Final 3 wouldn't happen. The only ways for Harpy Madness to break madness. Cool. Uh, the ferryman tends to be good-sided, so Vigor feels like the right fit. Yep, love it. Oh, Vigor minus one. Yeah, good call. Good call. Uh, to support the Vigor, there's a couple powerful minions. The Poisoner, the Harpy, the Witch. Not the Baron, but the Baron adds an outsider ambiguity, which I think is, is fun. Uh, good isn't lacking power on its own. The Investigator and Preacher can shut down a minion with a bit of coordination. The Mathematician can trace the poison and misregistration to give good a sense of how much they can trust the evil. The Fortune Teller and Slayer act as straightforward demon finders, while the Amnesiac and Fisherman are good's flexible roles. In my mind, the Amnesiac should get an ability that supports the dead, whether that's something between learning info about them, returning abilities, or even a resurrection. I do like the idea of having an Amnesiac that leans into a dead ability, so let's try to... We do get minus one, so if I'm going to pick a minus one... Um... I probably take out the, uh, I'm gonna take out the recluse. Well, we'll leave the recluse. Uh, it's very devastating. It's pretty interesting. Ogre's fun. Ogre can make an extra evil, which is very powerful. I think I'm gonna lose the barber because, like, l generally a baron doesn't want to be barber swap too, anyways, right? Klutz is also a good one. We can take out Klutz. Um. So, five Townsfolk. I want to do an Amnesiac. So we need some kind of ability that interacts with dead players. Um, it could be like if a dead player, when a dead player spends a vote, learn their alignment. I think something like that could be straightforward and simple, and there'll be a decent amount of dead votes being used, hopefully. Um, we'll do a fortune teller, of course. We'll do a mare. Why not? Mare seems solid. Uh, a slayer. Well, yeah, there's not really a lot of roles to go around, is there? I don't know who I would send the High Priestess to is the problem. It's not a lot of info going around. Uh, even a Cannibal. A Cannibal could also make an extra evil if the Ogre turns evil, and then the Cannibal eats the Ogre and turns... Oh, they would be poisoned if the Ogre is evil. Okay. Uh... I like Cannibal. No one trusts Raven's Keeper in a big game. Yeah. I like Raven's Keeper. I think that's that's in a good information role. All right. Let's just type this ability real quick before I forget. Uh, set Amni. Wait. So let's see if we do this right. In Amni. Set Amni test. Amni. Yeah. Okay. So set Amni each night. Learn the alignment of players who use their dead vote. Each night star. Learn the alignment of players who learn their dead vote. Oops, I did it wrong. God dang it. All right, we did that right. Each night, learn the line. Is there a problem with that? Do we see a major problem with that? A savant type role for dead people as the amnesic ability? You definitely could. It'd be hard. True, but they they would wake up and learn something most nights, I suppose. Hmm. If there's multiple, we like if for instance, if they if a dead and a good vote, then we'd wake up and we say good. And evil. I don't think it'll be 
if only one person votes, they get good or evil. If multiple people vote, we would say good or we would say both or evil. So I think it has to be good, both, evil, right? Ooh, that is a good point, right? They wouldn't learn anything until night three because there's no way to have ghost votes before that and it's only a nine player game and that might be kind of late. They won't, since it's not a 12 player game, there's not enough time to get that ability for a long time. So you guys are probably right. There wouldn't be enough time for the dead votes to actually matter in this case, right? Okay, but how do we interact with death? What's a cool ability that interacts with death? I mean, we could do each night pick a dead player, learn their alignment. It's a little... We don't want to use the exact same ability, right? All right, let's do this. Set. Each night, choose a dead player, learn their alignment. It's basically a, a dead a dead village idiot, right? Make him a dead, a dead village idiot. Each night, choose a dead player, learn their alignment. Village Deadiot. Perfect. All right. Uh, three outsiders. Yeah. I see dead people's alignment. In a game where there's a good chance that evil is going to be dead, uh, I think this is interesting. All right. Choose a dead player to deactivate the ability. Well, the only dead player's ability is going to be a baron. That's not going to actually mean much. All right. I'm going to pass these out. Rob. Oh, we need bluffs. So we can do uh well, preacher doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh we can do High Priestess Slayer and Fisherman will be good advice. Cool. Let's go, let's go do it. Alright, players, you should now have your roles. Good night. Nine. Nine. Okay, cool. First things first, we need uh we need a red herring for our fortune teller. Oh my god, once again, the fortune teller is sat next to the demon. Uh there's no drunk, so we can't do anything about that. Uh I mean, I think we put it. Uh, I think we put it on Ash. Yeah, the the if Rob kills the recluse, we can poison either the Ravenkeeper or the Amnesiac. Yeah. Make the fortune teller the red herring. Put it on themselves. Do you think the chance that they pick themselves is pretty high? I almost want to put it on Denny, but. Amnesiac, sure, we can do Amnesiac. There's, there, you know, we got to stop putting fortune tellers next to the demon. That's all I'm saying. Um, any other setup? No, 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 no real setup. Perfect. We got three outsiders, right? We got Ogre, we got Recluse, and we got Barber. Perfection. Um, great. First night info. Jerome was going to wake learn that Rob is the demon. Rob is going to wake and learn these are minions, these characters are not in play. Mark the Amnesiac uh, does not learn anything, right? Because we said the Amni ability is each night star choose a dead player, learn their alignment. Um... 
Quinn is the fortune teller that's going to get a ping. So let's go to Quinn. Yeah, I had a one. I hey, well, hey, Quinn. Steve, how you doing? I'm doing great. You get to be our fortune teller. Scry. Anyways, uh, who are we scrying on? Let's see here. We usually do the meta of your neighbors, but let's let's switch it up. Let's do the opposite meta. Let's do what's the opposite of neighbors across the grim? Yeah, that would be Jerome and Mark. Uh, but let's see if there's is there any reason not to do that? There's no real reason not to do it. Let's do Jerome and Mark. All right, you choose Jerome and Mark, and you learn yes, one of them is the demon. Slay. Hanging off well, already. I'm not the slayer. I'm the... We'll see. I mean, it could be the red herring, so we'll see. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Pick the red herring. Perfect. It worked out. <laughs> <sighs> Once again, you should always pick your neighbors, right? Uh, now this is fun. Day gets to pick someone and latch on. Hey, Day. Have you been the Hello, ogre before? I'm having some technical difficulties. I'm going to have to jump out and jump back in, but I pick Ash. You're going to pick Ash? Yes. All right. Ash it is. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. So Day has chosen Ash and stays good because Ash is good. Sweet, that's really it. Let's go talk to Rob real quick. Hey Rob, Hello. what are you thinking? Uh, you get to be the, the single minion like the the vigor mortis you know what i mean yeah so i think the night one i'm not gonna kill my um minion just because one i only have one million minion so I, I can save it a little bit right i don't need to um so and i think you know obviously the meta would be like oh i'll kill them right away and poison somebody right away so then there'll, there'll be suspicion on the first person that i kill so I'm gonna that's always the cool that. thing about the solo vigor scripts is there's always suspicion on whoever dies at night right so I'm, i may wait a night or two and then do it um i'm gonna bluff fisherman um okay i may throw in slayer for twos i'm hoping that jerome is a spy and he can find his own bluffs but i don't know um we'll find out um right. definitely gonna stay away from high priestess high priestess is really hard to bluff yeah uh, i mean unless you unless you know what everyone is it's really hard to bluff so yeah yeah, I mean, it, it, it's pretty hard to bluff, and so uh, even people people don't trust the high priestess even when they're getting true information, you know what I mean? Correct, yeah, and 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 if you don't have a really good reason to go talk to somebody, like, because like, the storyteller, you have to pick, like, the best person for that person to go talk to, right? And if you can't come up with a good reason, because you don't know what their roles are, like, it, it's, you get torpedoed pretty quick, I think. Yeah, um, okay. Anyway, well, that's my thoughts. Good luck, Rob, I'm pulling for you. Oh, we'll do a prediction in chat, by the way. Uh, we'll do the same prediction as last time. Just which team will win? Do you think Rob has it in him? Two minutes, no, we're in. Don't worry. We're doing this at the end of night one, so it, my, would... my token already says fisherman. So, like, I, I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even thinking that I'm the demon, honestly. So you've, you've, you're psyching yourself out. All right, love I'm it. Already, I'm already the fisherman. You like? Yeah. So uh, I know we're doing this kind of late, and we've seen how the first night played out. But uh, yeah, there's a good point. Like, if Jerome gets killed, we can move it all the way over to. Um, all the way over to to Ash and Poison Ash if you really wanted to. All right, let's wake him up. Well, at least at the start when I knew it was popular. Good morning, everyone. Um, unfortunately, you know, people got a little ahead of themselves and killed me last night. But don't worry. It's not the end. It's never the end. There's a ferryman in play. So at the end of the game, on the last day, we all got our dead votes back, including the storyteller. I wish. You probably deserved it, honestly. Um, I'll give right. you five minutes. Uh, you Mark, you want to try it again? You should, should honestly get to say. Ooh, that would actually make for a really um, fun Quinn. fable. The storyteller gets one vote per game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. I Quick hey, storyteller consult. Um, if I get swapped with, uh, with the Tons folk and the Tons folk get killed by Gomotis. Do they count as a minion for the bigger mortis and the one they maybe get poisoned? Yes, if they if it's a good aligned minion, they're still a minion. 
All right, we'll just see if we can make something stupid happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> thank you. Because it's stupid with more stone, but thank you. Yeah. Good luck. The role, but do, you do are whatever actually. Whatever you please. I am perfectly fine with that. Okay. Uh, just maybe, maybe don't tell people I'm mayor. Oh, no, of course, of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Um, actually, Steve, I've got a question public or private, but probably better private. Um, okay. But yeah, I mean, Ash could be here. That's fine. Uh, are you running the optional ogre rule where I don't think a alignment swap can happen here? But if okay. hypothetically the person that I pick changes alignment, would I change alignment with them? Uh, no, you would be locked in at the start, and I wouldn't pair you with the alignment the whole game. You would just have the one option. Okay, so you're not for... running with the new optional rule? No. Okay, cool. thank you. You are stuck anyway, luckily, so. Because an Amni in like a, a low player count game is like you have so little time to figure out what your your role is. Right, so that's why I kind of think I might be safe. Yeah. It's or it might be easy role. to guess, so you might have a good yeah. shot. So yeah. anyway, I'll leave you to that's it fine. then. Okay, actually, Thank Steve, you. might as well stay. Sure. Uh, actually, I'm happy. This is like my favorite role. I was like, my least favorite role is Vigor Mortis. And I was like, God, I don't want to get the Vigor. I, I, I uh, always get it and I don't like it. And I like okay. Amni a lot. Uh, but it's going to be tough in this role player. player count game, unfortunately. But maybe you'll make it a bingo here. Uh, I'll ask, does my ability have anything to do with alignment? Uh, yes, that is hot. Okay, cool. And there's no drug, so I know I'm. It's not a random ability, so that's good as well. Very true. I can't. I can't do that to you off the bat, at least. <laughs> okay. Cool. Right. Now I gotta talk to the town. Thanks. Good, good luck. Being the Leviathan is pretty. Bad. I just don't like Leviathan games. Period. That's um, fair. I think yeah. it can be interesting, but I haven't played too many really recently. Yeah. We're talking about demons we hate. Yeah. We're talking about. <laughs> Vigor Mortis isn't the worst. Um, I think in at least in S and V, I don't like if I am a demon in S and V, I don't like being the Nodashi. Because you can <laughs> just pinpoint where the poisoning yeah. is. Like yeah. playing a game like um uh, extension cord. I like extension cord. Yeah, and extension cord's very cool. Yeah. Oh, we probably should do? eventually exchange rules though. So yes, what would that you do? Uh what do you want to do? I'm pretty open. I'm just a cannibal. Pretty opens an understatement. Um, I mean, I've I've heard of a fisherman, and I want to get them killed, and then we can just get two days of information. Information. Um, so. I'm gonna go the Slayer of the Preacher. Okay, cool. There. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a friend that I care so much about. I picked them, and they're my best of buddies. Oh, you're the ogre. Friend. Yay! Who did you pick? It's a secret. Okay, Even to them. Fair. Even to them. Oh, yes. nice. Well, how are you going to figure out what alignment you are then? Oh, do a little snooping. Snoop, snoop, snoop. All right, I'll hard claim to you since you hard claim to me. I am the fisherman. I'm going to wait a few days to use my info so it's a little more powerful. Okay. Um, cool. That's it. Excellente. All right, thanks, Rob. Yeah. Bye. Uh, good luck if you're the Amni. I I in a small game. If I'm the Amni in a small game, that's it's rough. So I have not seen many successful Amnis lately. So yeah. Very well. Hey, thanks. Uh, I will not be telling people I'm mayor for the sake of chat. <laughs> besides my ogre friend, uh, <laughs> so that's going to be fun. Yeah, fair, fair, fair play. See ya. So uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to see a bingo on this Amni tomorrow, given he wakes up and is told to pick a dead player, and given that, you know, he's going to be told in alignment he already got a hot. So I think we made it reasonable to solve in a very short, small player game. Yeah. Uh, technically, Amni can go anywhere in night order, but it will come after the demon because it's minion gathering information. Yeah. The void is all of us. <laughs> it could be anything, Rocco. Wait, did we all just crash? No. Nope. 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 Just certain people. Yeah, I was having issues with the standalone app. All of my like sidebar stuff just disappeared, and so I yeah. had to quit and switch back to the website. <laughs> I didn't know that there was a standalone app. To it's, be I mean, it's just a wrapper around the website, but I've I have technical issues every time I try and use it.
So I do <laughs> think the only shenanigan, realistically, is Slayer. So, and you can Slayer shot whenever you want, but I will open nominations in just a few minutes. Quinn? Quinn will claim Slayer and shoot Denny Boy. Quinn claims Slayer and shoots Denny Boy. The game goes on. Thank you. I think we're the only community that considers Slayer a shenanigan. <laughs> I've never understood <laughs> why we do that. that. Yeah, I think I may have had a hand with it's that. because of Mark's our script. Uh, it's I hilarious. Just, that's why. I just want to it say. It is hilarious. Uh, it's fun when you when you when when new people who have been playing Clock Tower for a while suddenly realize that the Slayer is a shenanigan. And they're like, it's like the veil's lifted over. And they're like, oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've heard of Two Outsiders, so it is probably a Baron game. I've heard of Two Outsiders, and you, and uh, we have not spoken to each other, so I'm very much assuming it's a Baron game. Fun. Two Outsiders is base. It's four with the it's Baron. Vigor. It's Vigor. It's Vigor. Vigor. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, that's, that's oh. Oh, yeah, I okay. have that same thought. Um, hands up. Oh, I guess I, I guess I don't need actually need to be called on. Um, I claim amnesiac, and I publicly say the word defenestrate. Oh, nice. Straight her. Congratulations, um, the game is over. The game is won. <laughs> so that means there has to be three outsiders total, right, guys? At least yes. three outsiders or two it's liars. Bearing. I think it would be very beneficial to know if three people are claiming outsiders, because none of these are so bad that Dude, if we Barbara can, if we know we have three outsiders. Apparently two people are claiming ogre. Mm -hmm. Two people are claiming ogre? Yeah, yeah and I plan on nominating one of them. <laughs> Jeffy? Maybe maybe the ogres picked each other. Jeffy, go ahead. I would just like to say I feel officially attacked personally by Steve. Thank you very much. Dave, I, I would like to say that I currently have lying in parentheses next to Jeffy's name. <laughs> Nominations are also Wait. now open. Hold on, Dave, Dave real quick. Like real quick. Dave. Dave. <laughs> Dave. That is just bullshit in my mind. Dave nominates Denny. Tell us why. Because you oh, boldly claimed my role to me. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. <laughs> Danny? <laughs> um, I am not the ogre. I am a different outsider. Now I believe we have a baron. <laughs> Gee, Danny, which outsider are you? Uh, well, I'm either the, the, the one Rocco knows is not me, so I'm one of the other two. <laughs> Which makes sense why I would lie and say that I'm a different one. Because I didn't think there'd be any world. Okay, I saw Outsiders, my token. I thought, there's no way that Steve would do a Vigor Mortis Baron game in a nine player <laughs> game. So I'm like, I can, if I'm the Outsider, I can bluff as any of them. And there's no way that's Jeffy's bad experience with it. <laughs> it. I was wrong. My bad. But it sounds like we have three Outsiders. So I'm the better wow. of the cut. Please don't kill me. Five votes. I understand. Well, that. the way we see it, we might as well pull the trigger early. Alternatively, no, because we're the al turn. Alternatively, it's a vigor harpy game, and the two outsiders who you are not are me crazy. are the evil team. Four is not enough. Danny Boy's safe. Quinn will nominate Jerome. Nominate Jerome. Tell us why. Uh, aside from saying that, might as well trigger it now. Which I mean, I'm a, I'm a proponent of killing the barber day one, but not not in a small game like this, and not not on this script. We should be respectful to the the script creator. Uh, there's also an evil ping on Jerome uh, that we should be looking into. Jerome, I uh, I just think that it's safer to if it's a class. It's safer to if it's a barber, he will not have the opportunity to you make any good of it right now. If it's a klutz, the boys will have much higher hearts to pick somebody good right now than later. That's my was reasoning. And you're uh, I'm pretty sure whatever ping you have on me is come from a naval player because I'm good. All right, five is the number. Look, look more closely on that script, on, on this script, Jerome. There's multiple reasons why that e that evil ping could be incorrect, but it's the best we've got right now. And given that it's a baron, it's not likely to be a poisoner. Five is so. enough. Can we, Jerome's on the Can block. we hear what, what outsiders have the people heard in times in town? I've heard, like of Ogre. I've heard of Recluse and Mine. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Ogre, Recluse, and what? And, and Whatever Denny's. Denny's. And yours, yeah. At least they're different. That's that's a good sign. 
Dave, now I understand why you were claiming Pixie to me. Yes! <laughs> That's why I was claiming <laughs> Pixie to you! I didn't understand that. I am so oblivious. Holy cow. Second call. I need the brain at this point in the in the day. Is Right. I think if I made somebody people in the follow, so I might as well just stay for that. Bringing this day to a close in three, two, one. Jerome is executed and dies. Good night, everyone. Oh, gonna see. I feel That's pretty confident. All right. All right. It's pretty interesting. Uh, the Baron goes down, but the Baron, you know, dying day one is not the worst. It's bad for the Amnesiac, but the Amnesiac's got a demon yes ping on them. So uh, it's not like, okay, you saying no poison mare. We could kill Denny Boy the Barber, swap the Baron somewhere else, and then kill the Baron and poison the mare. It is possible to still happen. So there are things that could happen, but let's get Robin here. I'm not sure I would have that same reaction um, if that was a bluff. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Oh, God, my, my face hurts. I've been smiling and laughing too much. these. So hey, Rob. No worries. Uh, you said you weren't going to kill your minion, and it looks like yeah, the option's that, that been taken away. Yeah, that did not away. work out very well. The <laughs> other problem is that my neighbor, Quinn, hard claimed fortune tells to me and said that they got a yes between Jerome and Mark. So... You know, I thought about doing the barber swap thing and swapping in, swapping Jerome and I so that I, so that he was then the demon. Um, but that doesn't seem logical. Can't do it now for sure. Right. Um, so I, what would be a smart thing to say? I mean, I could kill Denny, who I think is the barber. And then um, do I get this swap the same night, right? You would, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to think of what a good swap would be. Um, I mean, I could get rid of the fortune teller that way. Um, turn them into the klutz. So the barber just lets you pick two people, and those two people swap roles. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So, um, Although it's possible we could do, I could swap the barber and the ogre, and then they have to pick someone else. And they That's could turn evil that way. Definitely possible. Yeah. yeah let's I'm gonna that. need to kill Rob. Let's kill, let's kill Denny. Okay. Hopefully that it's the barber. Denny it is. And then you can do me a favor and you get the opportunity. You have killed the barber. You have the opportunity to swap two players. Who would you like to swap? Um, I will swap. Uh... Actually, um, let's do this. Let's swap. Um... No, because Quinn told me he was the fortune teller. I was thinking about swapping Jerome and Quinn, but then Quinn might work backwards that he told me he was fortune teller. So I'm going to just swap. Um, uh, you can, you know, just, they, just to be clear, you can, they, you they, can pick they, Denny as one of the swaps, even though you killed Denny, right? Right. Oh, that's a good point. Let's do um, Day and Denny Boy as a swap. Day and Denny Boy. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yep, thanks. We had to lean into the chaos a little bit. Swap does not change alignment. Yeah, but now everyone's a barber all the time. So Denny, Denny Boy does now become the ogre, but he's a dead ogre. Uh, and Day becomes the, uh, the <laughs> barber. All right, let's go. To, let's go. To, it keeps a barber in place so we can constantly you know, make people paranoid, but yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. What? what? After that fiasco, there is no doubt in my mind. Who am I? You are now the ogre. 
<laughs> oh, do I get to pick? Oh no! Is there a uh, no? Maybe? You are now the ogre because you're, but you're dead, so you don't oh, get to right, have an ability, right. so you don't pick. Okay. Unfortunately. Cool. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Day. Hi. Am you I are now the. Swapped? You are now the barber. <sighs> okay. Enjoy. Um, okay, so now we can go to Mark. Mark's healthy, so we're going to tell him to pick a player. Hey, Mark. Hey, I was worried I was going to get killed and not even get to do anything. Nope, you are sober and healthy, or you're alive. So in that case, uh, do me a favor and pick a player. Pick a day. Uh, invalid choice, pick again. Invalid choice, I'll pick quit. Uh, invalid choice. Pick again. Fifteen. Uh, I will pick Rocco. Invalid choice. Pick again. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 Rob. Invalid choice. Pick again. <laughs> This is really narrowing down your ability, Mark. Uh, Ash? Invalid choice. Pick again. Myself? Invalid choice. Pick again. Chat's uh, loving this, by the way. Jerome? All right, you picked Jerome. And you learn evil. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye. Bye. Who was a valid pick? He didn't pick Denny. Denny and Jerome were the only two valid picks. Did he really pick Denny? I didn't hear Denny. Oh, it's very powerful. Yeah. Yeah, I heard Quinn. Okay. Yeah. I could have just woke up and said pick a dead player, but that was more fun. Uh, Mark, Amnesia, Quinn. Hello. I'd like right. to scry upon Denny and Rob and see what I get. All right. You check Denny and Rob and you learn evil. No, bitch. I, mean, I learned either you learn, yes or you no. Learn, <laughs> you learn one of them's the demon. That's what I mean yes, to say. Yeah, I got it. I, I got you, fam. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. I mean, he's got two yeses. It's, that doesn't mean anything, right? He did pick day, I think. Okay. All right. That should be everything. Let's pick him up. I did. That was sort of... It was magic thing. Good morning, everyone. Denny boy has died in the night. Four minutes. Magic theme. Wait, twist. that doesn't even. Hang on. Harry Potter, not uh, not magician. Let's pick. No. Okay. Oh, okay. Who you picked as ogre, but that doesn't even. You wouldn't right. have even gotten the chance. Right. Right. Why all this does was all this does. I mean, I guess we already kind of had a confirmation chain going, but all this does is really make it a confirmation chain. Yeah. The good news for me is if you are evil, they're going to kill you tonight. I hope. Yeah. The no. The, 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 I am not the execution at all at this point. I let agree. them waste their kill. Let let evil kill me. I agree. Yep. Yeah. Um. I, and also, actually, I now mechanically trust you too. Um. Ash is the person that I actually picked. I've been telling Jeffy that I picked her because I thought it was funny. Now you still could be evil, right? So yes, if Ash is evil, I could be evil. But Ash has told me that she is good. Okay. That's fine. Uh, nothing. Okay. I have nothing. Okay, I'm the Andy. Uh, oh. I'm going to talk to Steve and guess my ability. Um, uh, I had a very interesting night. Oh, I'll just say that I just talked to Jerome. Uh, he uh, said he was the Slayer, so that's probably why nothing happened to me last night. Uh, so, if he was a Slayer, he could have used his shot before he got executed. But I, I, as a cannibal, I now have a Slayer shot. That's what he's saying. I think that's not true. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm just cannibal, so I don't know if he's on the truth or not. Right. Okay. Cool. Steve, is my ability each night choose a dead player? You learn their alignment? Uh, 
pretty much a, a bingo, yes. It's an each night star, but yes. Uh, each night, choose a dead player, learn their alignment. Okay, cool. Um, so, Jerome was a minion. Or bingo. I was, I, was yeah. worried, I was worried about Jeffy, if, if Jeffy's a recluse, that I have, we want to kill off the recluse because I don't want to get potentially poisoned by a vigor killed recluse trigger. True. So that's what I was worried about. Yeah, we had to give an ability that's guessable in a short game, right? Yeah, yeah. That's good, yeah. You had, definitely had me confused, but okay. All right. Cool. Enjoy. Thanks. So, yes, it's simple, but at the same time, there's a lot of poisoning goes around. So, like, there's no guarantee that his ability stays sober and healthy. Like, for instance, if they kill Jeffy from then on, his information is questionable at best. It's very simple, but in a nine-person game, it should be. Sure not to pick you because I'm the fortune teller. Okay. Uh, um, which I... is why, which, which is why I feel like this is not so much a meta as in like my personal story. Uh, which is why I would feel personally attacked if the ogre actually did pick me and didn't change as evil because that that's my PTSD. So I'm pretty sure that this is a personal attack on me. Thank you, evil Steve. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> of course. Uh, by the way, uh, I have I currently have two alive yes pings. Uh, I, on night, I'll I'll tell you because why the fuck not. Uh, on night one, I picked Jerome and Mark and got a guess. On night two, I picked Denny and Rob and also got a guess. So I'd like to see either Mark or Rob die today. See, that makes me sad because I wanted to kill Dig Day today, but I'd rather probably... You said Mar uh, Jerome and Mark and then Rob and Denny? Yep, Jerome, Mark, yes. Denny, Rob, yes. Because you're now Barber. You're now the Barber. I am the Amni. You're the Amni. Fun. What have you learned or done so far? I got a bingo. Or, or pretty much bingo. Okay. What? Uh, so last night I basically picked around the circle and I kept picking players and kept being told invalid choice until I picked Jerome and was told evil. And I guess each night when it turns a star, choose a dead player, you learn their alignment. So Jerome was a minion. Maybe. All right. Thanks. Even when it's, you get it right, they don't believe you. Relevant and important. I am neither of those things. <laughs> neither relevant uh, nor important. No nope, more. Neither relevant nor good. important. Welcome back to Hound. I will open nominations in just a minute. Okay, so just so everyone's on the same page. I was this game's starting barber. I am now the ogre. Day was this game starting over and is now the barber. I believe we have a Baron in play. Just a hunch. That <laughs> is, who, who that is really? how that I mean, works. How, how could you figure that out? I what? Just, it's all you up know, maybe, here, maybe a hunch. Maybe a hunch. I, I also <laughs> think that we might have a Vigor in play, given that we only have three claimed outsiders. You're right. No. Really? Yes. <laughs> we do? I really do. Uh, Actually, well, I'll item the clots. Yeah, Rock if I needed any more reason to trust my neighbors, I don't think I need any. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy here. Go ahead, Rocco. <laughs> uh, Rocco claims Slayer and shoots Quinn. Rocco claims Slayer and shoots Ooh. Quinn. The game goes on. Sure, Thank wish you. you would not have done that. Well, sorry. I'm, I had, I had happened. too much. There's, there's some much better names out there. Honestly. honestly, Quinn, I actually really do like that. You do like that? Well, I, I just told you. I, I do. I'll, I'll, I'm yeah. willing to share my info if Town wants to hear it. Let's go, Mark. Sure, sure. I'm the Amni. Uh, I got a bingo. What the fuck you did? Nice. So, well, <laughs> I'll explain why. So last night I was told to choose a player, and I chose Day, got invalid, Quinn invalid, Rocco invalid, Rob invalid, uh, Ash invalid, myself invalid. Then I finally turned Jerome, and I was told evil. Then I asked today, I asked, each night choose a dead player. You learn their alignment. So Jerome was our minion. Interesting. That's I mean, so it seems painful. like so railroaded. That <laughs> but seems. It's like. That seems. It, it's interesting at best. I mean, I kind of trust it though because it did go through all those picks. I feel like that's that has to be true then. <laughs> I, no, it's no, no. It's so railroaded. It's so railroaded. It cannot be. It does. It does not, Rocco. And actually, based on you making that statement, I actually think you're. Right. I think Mark's just our demon here. Nominations uh, are now open. Rocco nominate Mark. Rocco nominates Mark. Tell us why. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not a minion, and Mark is not my demon. Mark? Uh, if you want to kill me, I'm an Amni. I'm not getting any more information. I mean, other than I can check dead people, but uh, what I told you is the truth. So I think killing me, there's better candidates. Quick question. I get my vote back at the end, right? Because I'll make it four. It's, that information is so far-fetched. I'll make it four. <laughs> yeah, you get your vote back. Yeah, Ferriman gets ideal. information back. Four uh, is the number. Okay. There's better kills than me. Such as? Not really. Maybe. Four is enough. Mark is You're now on the block. Evil, evil is in evil such a corner. Oh. I'll, I'll nominate uh, Rocco. Mark nominates Rocco. Tell us why. Just because I think Jerome, Jerome claimed Slayer. If he was Slayer, he would have used his shot before he got executed. Rocco is now saying he has Slayer ability. I just think Rocco is worried about, I gave him my info. So Rocco is just trying to kill a confirmed good. So I'd rather kill Rocco. Rocco? Uh, uh... I am just a cannibal. I uh, talked to Jerome, told him nothing happened to me last night. Um, so he told me he was Slayer, so I shot Quinn. Uh, I mostly just nominated you, Mark, because Quinn is trying to build worlds where you and I are evil together, and I'm not evil, so. Well, Sorry. We're not evil together, so. All right, four will tie. Five to a rock on the block. I will say Jerome and Quinn shared many bluff, but they are there claims but yeah but Quinn needs to put him on the block one's so. not enough any Quinn other nominations um, Jeffy nominates Ash Jeffy nominates Ash tell us why okay so in our 37 outsider worlds that we have right now because there's exactly 37 of us um I believe at least two of the claims that I currently have I'm questioning the other two um, but with what I have, the only evil that I can put in the rest of this world is going to be Jerome, and I think, with, with Jerome, sorry, is going to be Ash, or Rob, um, and with what I know right now, I'd rather go for Ash. Ash? Uh, I know there's a couple of people that can vouch for me. Uh, I am more you, I, <laughs> says my friend above. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm more useful to keep alive, I think. Especially if... I think especially if Mark is the pick here. Alright, four For now, high. I think I agree with Ash. And five to put Ash? For now. That's fair. <laughs> Although if Jeffy is confirmed, the minion is not trying to lift Two's you off not Mark, enough. Which is something to note. We have a recluse. I'll just say that we don't want to leave a recluse that can be killed by a vigor that could then poison its neighbors. I'm more likely what? to death tonight. How does that work? I think they will probably die. Oh, tonight. yeah, the yeah. vigor can kill the recluse. The recluse will register as evil uh, and it can poison a neighbor. So oh, that that, that's, that's fine. Somebody nominate me. No, 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 no. absolutely not. Okay. Final call for nomination. Let the demon kill you. Okay. I'm, I'm a good player. I mean, I think there's better kills. This game's not going to end, and you're going to kill a good player. Something conditional. Bringing this effect. day to a close. But I might get unlucky. In How three, um... two, one. Mark is executed and dies. Good night. Told you. I, I believe that you were probably. So wild. That an amnesty guy can get a bingo day two on a very simple to guess ability, and everyone's like, nah, don't believe it. The benefit, the upside here, as pointed out, is that the amnesty guy kind of already done its role and found the dead minion, right? Um, yeah, Mark's uh, Rob's in a tough spot here. Best thing Rob can do is <laughs> uh, Barbara swap a, a person into a good minion, possibly. The ability is each night. Star, choose a dead player, learn their alignment. We gave an ability that would be easy to figure out given um, given uh, it's a short game. So we wanted to guide him towards something and use the dead th player theme of the script. Let's get Robin here. Gotten a minion. So I think it, it has almost has to be. Hello. Rob, who's getting it? 
Oh man, this is rough. So Rocco wants me to get use my ability tomorrow so that he can kill me tomorrow and he can gain my ability as the cannibal. Mm -hmm. The fortune tellers on the loose and who knows when they're going to select their neighbors me. Um, there's not that many people in the game because there's only nine. So the odds of me getting picked is getting higher, especially given that the two fortune teller pings previously, which were Mark and Jerome are now dead. Um, could kill the barber again and swap the cannibal with Jerome which would give Jerome the cannibal ability and Rocco the Baron ability. But because we just messaged about that, I think Rocco would be onto that. Mm -hmm. So it's probably safer to, um, Oh God. Hmm. Fortune tell yes. Isn't the end of the world actually. So I just get rid of the reason to kill me tomorrow. Um, we'll go with Rocco. All right, Rocco it is. Perfect, thank you. All right, I think Rocco uh, played him a little bit here. Um, let's go to Rocco and have him pick someone. He's getting sober and healthy information. Yeah, a new ogre would make a lot of sense, right? Let's go to Rocco. Hey, Rocco. Oh, did it work? You have died. Hell yeah. Um, Go ahead and pick a player. Let's pick Ash. All right, you pick Ash, and you learn Mare. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Solid. Now we got a tr Mare trust chain going. With no real way for that information to be poisoned, right? Uh, let's go to Quinn. How hey, Quinn. How the fuck am I still alive? I think I'm the frame, honestly, here. Uh, no matter. Uh, this is just more of a... It's more of a proofing play here. Uh, I'm gonna pick Day and Ash. Pick Day and Ash? And you learn, no! Neither one of them is the demon. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better about the world then. I think that I hit Rob the Demon and that Mark's Amni ability was what it claimed to be. And that, I, well, I mean, honestly, the world works with either Mark or Jerome as the minion and the other being the red herring. But either way, I'm pretty sure we got the demon nailed down. So hopefully, Ooh. God willing, we win. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the Baron took away a lot of the powerful roles, but in one of these worlds where the outsiders are not super hidden and it's the only evil ability, uh, you know, it does present a world in which it kind of confirms all the outsiders. And really the best counterplay to that would be for the demon to just claim one of the outsiders, right? If, if all four outsiders are claimed to be in play, then one of them has to be lying. And then that confirmation chain is broke. I think that's how I would counter it as evil. You don't know which outsider to claim is the unfortunate part, but you can do what Denny did, right? And be like, oh, I just claimed one until I knew which one to pick. So there is a world, I will say, a world in which Day is the demon and Denny boy is the minion and they're just both claiming outsider with a fake barber swap, right? It's possible. It's possible. But this is very, very hard for evil. All right, let's wake him up. No, there's no characters in the script My, that could change right. that. Good morning, everyone. Rocco has bit the dust in the night. I will give you guys. Um, two oh, sorry. Go ahead, Steve. No, I give you guys two minutes. Go ahead. Uh, I was never the cannibal. I was the Raven Keeper. Um, Ooh. I picked someone last night. Um, I trust one person. This circle. I'm so happy for you. You trust one person. The person you picked. Yep. The per I know the I mean, role. I trust sense. more than one person, but I'm I mean, happy. Yeah. And I got a no, which makes me believe that it's just Rob. I agree. Yep. Yeah, I think they, I think they're the kill today. Uh, I agree. I'm dying to hear what Rocco's information is. Uh, I think that that could absolutely confirm worlds for me. There's like one niche as fuck world in which it's just day. Uh, I don't believe this to be the I case. Be I feel dead. like Steve would have. I don't, from your, I mean, from where I'm sitting, it still could be day. It's just it? not really. Oh, it, yeah. Cause you it, could, cause okay. it could, cause it could be, you could be a bigger killed minion and day could just be the bigger, 
uh, and so then, to be lying about being outsiders. But I think and then I would have to be the poisoner, and I would have had to poison you. No, well, night. you could, well you could be poised. No, just the first night. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's so, it, 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 I mean, honestly, it it works with any minion, frankly. Uh, it yeah, it just works with any minion, frankly. So like, it doesn't it doesn't quite matter. Uh, um, but it's such a niche world, and I feel like if that were the world world, Steve would have given me three yeses in a row. Uh, that would throw me for a loop. I've been claiming I'm either the slayer or the preacher, but no. Okay, but then who do we kill? Robert Quinn. I do not know. I'm just here to try to stay alive to make more options for us. <laughs> okay. okay, sounds good. Yeah. No on Ash and Day. Well, I know that's not Ash, because I know what Ash's role is. Okay. So. It's, I think Rob's our best kill today. Yeah, it's you or Rob. So. Yeah, it's me or Rob. And you have the time to kill both of us, so... Yeah. Right. The secret! Hey, Hello. Rob. Can I get my fisherman information, please? Absolutely. So, uh, given that you waited a pretty long time, I think your best bet here would be to execute the player that is uh, one of your alive neighbors. I don't know. I'm just making up random stuff, whatever you oh, want. Fuck. But I, I want them to seem realized, like I'm saying something real. I just realized I have to come up with some bullshit now. Um, yeah. Uh, you need clarification on it? Okay. It, it's. I don't like to do riddles, so it's more like straightforward advice. So. It's a straightforward advice, like trust this person or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it could be maybe like that, or like you know something like uh you know some role is not actually in play, or you know like you know uh the there isn't actually a Baron in play, or something to that effect, right? Like something specific, but not necessarily like execute. Yeah, that's not Rob. that's unfortunately very provable. Um, yeah, I would say maybe it's like. Trust in the. Oh, trust, trust. The biggest, the biggest downside here, Rob. Trust the bingo. Everybody... Trust the bingo. Yeah, the, the biggest downside here is people think this is too long for a fisherman conversation. So, okay. <laughs> all right, good luck. Not saying you roll to anyone. All right, everyone. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Welcome back. We are at five players alive. Nominations are open. Whenever you're ready. Rob, I'm assuming you did the thing that you did yeah do you would you care mm -hmm. to share if that's something you'd like to do at this point in time yeah i was told to trust the bingo hmm. okay. interesting that's fine that's interesting uh well basically the demon candidates are either you or i at this yeah. point in time and we've got five i've pretty much narrowed it down to you rob at this point uh so it doesn't it fully does not matter to me in which order town decides to kill i would like to be the one to nominate rob um if <laughs> anyone has any objection to that speak now or forever hold your peace we'll give you the honor at least i will you guys want to claim the role or not yeah i'm the fortune teller uh, oh. On night one, I picked Jerome and Mark, and I got a yes. I believe Mark to be our red herring. On night two, I picked Denny and Rob, and also got a yes. On night three, I picked Ash and Day, and got a no. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm just still here hoping that maybe the person that I picked is secretly actually evil and I'm actually <laughs> oh, with them as evil. Don't but doubt I, yourself, Dan. Okay. It's so valid. Um, I have told two people that I picked them, one I lied to, one I didn't. Oh, that's okay. cool. <laughs> well, we shall see. I mean, uh, so I'm assuming, Day, you know what your alignment is within. Yeah, I don't know okay. my alignment, no. but I, I mean, I, I am working from a world where I am good. Second call okay. for nominations. Uh, Quinn will nominate Rob. Quinn nominates Rob. You want to add more to that? No, no. I mean, this that's just how I this how I feel, bro. Rob. No, that's fair. Um, not the demon. I don't know why you're getting yeses on me. You could be poison. No, wow. Unless it's such a new game, right? But, so and if it poison. is, we can, and if it is, we kill either me or Day tomorrow. Um, yeah. but. But it's just such a niche world at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Or you're evil, but. Or I'm evil. All right. I yeah. mean, 
there's multiple worlds in which that work works, but three is the number. All right. Well, well, before I get executed, Rob claims Slayer and shoots Quinn. Rob claims Slayer and shoots Quinn. The game goes on. Oh, oh so you lied about being, that would have uh, been really funny. That would have been. <laughs> that would have been really insanely fun, actually. That would have been very, very funny. That would have been the best way to go out. Seven really is a lot and enough. Rob is currently on the block. Hey, we're I, getting our votes back tomorrow. For yep. there's still this. Oh, so. so I don't get. No, this can't be beaten. Me. This cannot be beaten. I'm sorry, Day. You're too alive. Uh, that is true. It exactly. can. It can. Uh, there's only six no, votes and there's nine. <laughs> there's what, seven? Oh. There's only five <laughs> votes in play it right now. Yeah. Right. So Rob, it cannot be beat. Uh, is there, but there. Can we tie? I feel a little no? bad for evil in this setup. This I don't even think we can tie. There's again, only five votes in play. I'm not yeah. gonna vote again. So Rob is me. executed and dies. So the ferryman didn't even come into effect. Oh. Oh. Or maybe it does. Oh, well, it will come Wait, into effect. Getting for the fake out? Oh, uh, I'm just kidding. Of course. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> bastard! Oh, I hate you, Steve. <laughs> the game is over. Uh, yes, it ended up being very tough for Evil. Um, so getting so hard for Evil. Wow. Yeah, I think I think having the mini get executed day one is probably awesome. the bad, the worst luck. But Jerome was indeed your Baron. Rob was indeed your Vigor Mortis who proclaimed, I'm not going to actually kill my minion night one, night two, because I don't want to, like, everyone's going to be suspicious about it. That option was taken away from him right <laughs> away. Didn't even have a consideration. Yeah. Um, we did have, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, Day, your starting ogre picked Ash. Day is now the barber. Denny Boy is now the ogre, but was dead. And he was sad he didn't get to pick as a dead ogre. Uh, yeah, I, I forgot about that part. Oops. <laughs> uh, but then uh, Ash was indeed your mayor. Uh, we didn't get a chance for Marin because you hit the demon. Uh, Quinn was indeed your fortune teller who hit a, a yes between Jerome, the Baron, and Mark, your amnesiac red herring with an e like one of the, the easiest bingo abilities possible on a, game, on a script like this. But then I knew no one was going to trust you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and then I immediately killed you. Yeah. The rest of us we were like, nope. We had another ability in mind, but then it didn't work on a nine player count. So we swapped to something that would be, you know, pretty apparent <laughs> what it is pretty easily because you only have like one or two days to guess it. Um, yep. Jeffy, your recluse who, you know, didn't die. So didn't poison either of her neighbors. And Rocco, your cannibal keeper of ravens <laughs> who confirmed that Ash was the mayor. Yeah, I made a mistake. I should have, I should have barber swapped. Um... Well, I gave you a plan. Rob, if you know, I gave you a plan. I told you to barber swap me and somebody else, and then you can kill them. That's when, right. that's when and somebody. Then, yeah. And then you could have killed Jeff, Jeffy and hopefully get uh, Rock Poison. Yeah, Another option yeah, would there, have been to barber swap also... Day yeah. and, like, I don't know, any other live player, probably. Yeah, yeah. there was, yeah. There was a decent amount of stuff player, that but... could have happened, yeah. but also the, the outsider count not being contested. Uh, by evil at all, and then Jerome beginning accidentally, like, just happened to be randomly yeah. executed day one, just made it impossible. It, it made, like, the outsiders became too trustworthy. Even though you didn't have uh, info. My intent was to move the ogre to the ogre had a pick again, but I messed it up, and Steve tried to warn me, but I just... Yeah, had you... Yeah. It would have been cool, though, if you would, if you just, like, I don't know, it was possible to constantly keep the ogre, so you just get everyone I don't, evil. I don't know why I, I kept thinking that I had to swap the barber into... Yeah. Yeah, you know, I guess, it, like, it especially if you had swapped me and Jeffy, then yeah. Jeffy would have known that I was a safe pick if, if she wanted to turn evil. Yeah. That yeah. would have been interesting. No. I, I, I messed up for the evil team, unfortunately. Sorry, You're sorry. Right. Even, even without that, though, it was a very, very, like the outsiders were so quickly trusted. Um, and then I, I basically was kind of confirming Ash insofar as I was playing with Ash no matter what team she was on. Wow. I, I, I was trying to confirm to you, no, I am not lying. I am good. I swear. I swear, Day. And my, my bluffs were all disposable bluffs. I had High Priestess, Slayer, and Fisherman. The problem is High Priestess is really hard to bluff. Yeah. yeah. And then the yeah, moment I use my ability on Fisherman or Slayer, then I'm 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 no longer needed. So I can be, you know, disposed of if, yeah. if that's the way the fortune teller pings point or whatever, you know? So... Yeah, Steve, actually, the interesting thing about the script is there's not a lot of ongoing information rules, period, right? There's, like, yeah. amnesiac and fortune teller and possibly cannibal. That's really Tell you one thing. Fortune teller's been put in work tonight. Oh, yeah, and preacher yeah. also yeah. in this setup wouldn't have done anything. For like, this specific oh, setup, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, fun, fun fact. Who did you pick, Rocco? Oh, I, I picked Ash. Yay. That's cool. 
little fun, little fun fact. Uh, when um, when I died, I told I sent this PM to Steve that I'm claiming the night in case somebody was cannibal. Then Rocco come to me and say I'm the cannibal, and said, so "Oh, okay, I'm the Slayer." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't like bigger. There's no escapes for bigger. Bigger, I just yeah. feel like you yeah. know, it's just no way out. There is on this script because of the barber. However. Not when your mini gets executed day one. That's just bad. Yes, yeah, Steve. What was your I mean, thought I, process for putting a bear yeah. in this game? Uh, my thought process was that chat redeemed a bear. Oh, uh, that's honestly, yeah, that's them. That's, blame that's Bryant. Bryant. Bryant that's, said we're putting a bear in was, play. Chat was like, okay, we'll redeem the bear and then we'll vote for good to win. That's what they were doing. Well, let's look. <laughs> let's look. Actually, <laughs> looking at the prediction, sixty-one uh, percent of people thought Evil was going to pull it off, and I did the prediction Whoa. after night one, actually. No, wrong, but executed, obviously. Fortune teller. Uh, at the end of night one, basically, after all the information was out there after the I first mean, night. Whenever I told chat, what, sorry, chat. When I saw Baron, I was like, they're gonna, they're not gonna buy that. It's no. <laughs> well, I, I could have made a mistake. Chat, you I made a mistake. So, chat, no, don't chat, you made a very, you made, you made a very preventable mistake, chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's <laughs> on Sam, not on you, bro. Hey, this is Evil Steve. Thank you so much for watching Blood in the Clock Tower here at The Grim. If you want to help us, please make sure you are subscribed, hit that like button down below, and leave a comment. It really does help us grow. We'll have more Clock Tower content coming to you soon. For now, why don't you hop on over to join.thegrim.gg and jump on our Discord server and say hi. You can even come play some games with us. We promise we love teaching new players. In the meantime, why not check out some of these videos? Stay healthy, friends. <laughs>